Phil, it was a brutal stage out there today. Tell me what, how your approach was coming into the final climb. Uh, well, the guys did a great job just protecting me all day and giving me water and force feeding me really with the water because I made a big mistake yesterday with uh, not drinking enough. So I made a real, real effort just, number one, just to keep drinking. Um, and then at the, on the climb I just I felt good and just thought I'd have a go. I didn't really expect to, to stay away that long, but um, yeah, it worked out, worked out okay, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, did you feel like you had the stage win in your grasp, or was that just a... No, well, I knew they were pretty close, you know, I just saw, I knew TJ was right there, and, um, but you know, you never know, I just kept going, I was riding right on the limit the whole way, but just those last, last 3k just went on forever, you know, it was, yeah. uh, it was pretty brutal out there. And you had a really great race down at Tour de Gila, did that give you a lot of confidence coming into Tour California? Yeah, definitely. Um, like I had a good block at altitude and then did Gila and I think it's, it's worked pretty well for me. Um, like I say, the only thing I was worried about today was the temperatures and I think later in the week <laughs> when it cools down a little bit it'll suit me a lot better maybe for like Diablo and, uh, and those stages. And how do you fancy your chances for the overall given that time trial? Uh, well, I'm time trialing a lot better this year than before. Um, I don't know if I can kind of be on terms with Rogers and um, guys like that, but definitely at the Tour of the Gila, I was, was pretty close on the, on the TT. So uh, for sure I'll try and limit the losses there and you know, then see what I can do in Diablo later in the week. Congratulations. Thank you.